All right, man. I think Detroit Pistons need to go out there and get uh, Chris Stapps Porzingis. Um, he'll be a free agent at the end of this year or less. Uh, the Washington uh, Wizards. Um, uh, extend him. I mean, you can trade for him and, you know, then, you know, try to get him comfortable here, but they need him. Um, we can talk about Rudy Gobert. Uh, you hear Anthony uh, Edwards complaining about the spacing. That there's a lack of spacing in Minnesota uh, right now, and he can't dunk and get to the rim no more. And, you know, he got to fair find creative ways to lay the ball up. That's because they don't know how to play basketball no more. That's the difference. They don't know how to play no more. You got to remember, I mean, you had uh, Patrick Ewan and Charles Oakley, they played together. Anthony Mason played together. Rap Sampson and he came. Elijah Wine played together for a minute while Sampson was healthy. You had David Robinson, Tim Duncan was able to play together. That's just they don't know how to play. They don't know how to coach basketball. Right now, it's an isolation, pick and roll type of game. You know what I'm saying? It's plenty enough. It's enough space on the floor for everything for everything to happen, even with them two out there. Even with them two out there, it's enough space. But if you ain't coaching and calling the right plays and all that type of stuff, of course it's gonna hurt. But one of the reasons that you know I don't talk about Rudy Gobert another place, another time potentially. One of the reasons that he fit what what, what they need. You hear Anthony Edwards talked about how great of a, a rim defender that he is. You know, and it scares you with the injury history. It does. It does scare you. You know, but if you keep Bagley around um, or get somebody similar, I think you can get by and him and Durham can play together. That's the beauty of it. You know, you look last year, he played 51 games between Dallas and Washington. He did miss the season to ACL. Uh, he, he played 72 as first. So, you know, obviously, like I said before, it's one of the reasons you probably want to keep Oh boy, around um, Bagley or somebody around, but because um, you're not probably gonna be in the Victor Wallawamba sweepstakes at all. You know they do us dirty in Detroit, so um, that's the number one thing that concern that will concern you. But one thing you like, the blocks. He's a presence at the rim, and whatever reason. Um, today's NBA, man, you got guys like Przingis, they get hurt. Anthony Davis get hurt, and they just refuse to get in the weight room. That's the most mind-boggling thing that I could think of, and they refuse to go get in the weight room. They refuse it. They refuse to go get in the weight room and lift weights, and I know people say, well, it mess up your shot, adding that muscle and that bulk or, you know, whatever, and mess up your shot or whatever. In my opinion, if you keep shooting, it's not going to mess up your shot as you lift. You know, but um, I, I just think, man, the way he can defend the floor and then on offense, you can let Durham, you know, man it inside. He can play on the perimeter. Um, you know, they both can run and get up and down the court. Um, now, crunch time, would you play them together? You could. You could play. I forgot one of the most iconic duels playing together. Rashid and Lonnie, by the way, sorry. Uh, so, yeah, they definitely could, it, it could. You know, you could play them in crunch time together. It depends if Durant can hit his free throws. You know, he's shooting about 38% from the three this year. Um, and would it be a – well, you know, will you be able to maintenance him? Absolutely. With a Bagley, with, um, with Durant kind of sliding in and out, you'll be able to maintenance, maintenance him and, and save him for the playoff run. He's a good shooter. He can he rebound the ball, you know, pretty solid. Um, career he's sitting around eight rebounds, so he give you twenty points down there every 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 year. He could post up, you know. My thing would be, could we get him in the weight room? I think a lot of things started to change for him if he if he was able to get in the weight room. But I just like what you can do with him. You can play, you can play him out there. You can play him with Bojanovic at the at the at the four if you want to. You can play them with Durham out there at the four, which is the most desired lineup for me. It's because it'll be a real no-fly zone. They're both athletic enough to get on the perimeter on switches. Um, 
They both can have each other back, defending the rim like Rashid and Bill Wallace. Then on offense, you know, you can post up Kristoff if you want to, or you can let, you know, Duran stay there for the lives and let Kristoff play on the perimeter. I mean, he can give you time at the four to five. And Przingis, Dern can give you time at the four and the five. They could really be something really, really nice to see at the four and five because they're both athletic and they're both defensive minded. You know what I'm saying? Durham might not be able to shoot the basketball, and that's fine. But imagine the lives. Imagine if you you was able to play with some type of pace. With those two guys to get up and down the floor. And like I said before, with Bagley, he can get up and down the floor. You keep Stewart around. You know, he can get up, he can get up and down the floor. You know? So um to me, it's a match made in heaven. They both can defend the rim. They both can, you know. You know, uh, you know, they both can defend the rim. They both be on the perimeter. They both can run and athletic. Um, and that's and that's what you like about it. You know, and I just think it's a fit. And, and the rim protection, is something that um, it's something that uh, that store don't give you. You know, the natural shooting, some that Stewart don't give you. The post game, some that Stewart really don't give you. And then you can you're able to maintenance, you know, Christoph Przingis. You're able to you had enough you have enough manpower on, on the at that position to uh to uh to maintenance through the season and save them for the stretch run and the playoff run. So to me, it makes a lot of sense. You know they broke the bank on uh on a lot of shittier players like Josh Smith and etc. You know, but if you get that kid in the weight room somehow, some way, um, you know, you might you might have something. He's starting to get into his thirties too, so you know his his body is starting to mature. He's starting to get that man strength. And like I said before. A lot of people probably going to disagree with me, and I ain't saying I'm standing on this and I ain't moving on this. And, you know, I'm, you know, this is y'all stupid and y'all know shit. And I know every night nah, ain't this. It's just, to me, I just feel like it, it could work. And I understand the risk of injury and all that type of stuff. I, I definitely understand it more than anybody else. But, uh, but I just think, man, it's just too, I just think it's just too perfect for him and Dern to grow together. It just, it's a perfect, it's a perfect combination. It's a perfect combination for them to grow together. You know, you look, you look, you're like, man. It's the things they can do with, you know, Przingis being able to stop shots at the rim. Um, Durham be able to stop shots at the rim. They both be able to run and get up and down the court, be on the perimeter a little bit, defensively get out there. Um, you know, Przingis being a space creator, being able to shoot it, being able to post it. Um, it's, re it's really, it's really, it's really a perfect storm, and he probably available. Honestly, he probably be available for nothing. He literally might be available for nothing. That's the crazy thing about it. He literally might be available for nothing. You might get him in free agency next year. You know, and if you want to be on the safe side, you can trade for him. Not sure where the Washington Bullets is going to end up, where the Wizards going to end up at. I couldn't tell you. But, uh, excuse me. But, um, still think it could be a rebuild. But uh, but um, but yeah, I just think it's it's, it's a uh, in my opinion, it's, it's a match made in heaven. I think, and I think it, the injury is just the biggest risk. Him and K, it can work. The space on the floor can work. Now you got two defenders out there in Dern, you know. In the front line now, you can get away with uh, if you want to, you know, continue with uh, 
you know, Bay or Bojanovic or somebody else at the three, you know, now it's, the defense is not sticking out like a sore, a sore thumb like it once was. You know, now it's to the point where, you know, now it's to the point where, uh, you know, it's not much of a liability. You know, so now you got multiple defenders out there. So to me, it's a no-brainer. But, you know, the injury history, I feel you, but you got enough bodies. You got enough bodies behind, uh, if you keep most of them around, behind Przingis to, to maintenance him. You know, to main. But I think if he get in the weight room, it'll be over with. I think it'll be over with. But nonetheless, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance of notifications. We go live and drop a video. Financially, you want to support the channel. Cash up. Dollar sign. CJ Good 313. Venmo CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. But, yeah, I understand the risk of injury, but I just think what they need defensively and it ain't no drop-off offensively. Um, I think if you get the kid in the weight room, I think uh, I think he wouldn't have those injuries. And I think you can you can go around – I think you can go around and say that about a lot of guys in the NBA today. Honestly, I think you can say that about a lot of guys in the NBA today. If they actually lifted weights, they probably won't have as many injuries as they do. But, you know, and another little thing about it, too, you want to know something that's honest? A lot of these basketball players and a lot of y'all got y'all kids playing in the wrong shoes, too. You don't play, old head put me on, old head coach put me on to this. You don't play in three quarters. You got to go above the ankle with your shoes, too. Make sure your kids is going above the ankle. You know, them high tops. Even with an ankle brace on, that's still not enough support. You need that support from the actual shoe. So you got to make sure your kids are playing in a, in a great performance shoe all the way around. For, damn the fashion. Damn the fashion. You got to make sure your kids is playing in, in a shoe that's durable and that's going to get that, them that ankle support. But appreciate y'all. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Peace.